Hey yo, people. I'm Whiteblade Zero, and if you don't know me, I don't blame you. So, what am I doing in this? This fan game called Sonic Battle R. Well, if you may recall some time ago, I did a video on, a video on how you can farm rings. You know, those things up there on the upper left, in case you were not aware. If you really weren't aware, then you ought to be ashamed of yourselves. Well, thing is, after I did that video, I went back and tried something else, which pretty much made that long video obsolete. So that's why I'm redoing this now, but now I'm including voice, my voice here. So if you really want to get some rings to, you know, buy the more expensive items at the shops in this game, then this is how to do it. Um, if you want to try this game yourself, it is free to play, and just check the description down below of this video, and it should lead you to a link to, that will help you download the um, the current um, current version. At least I hope. Um, if it's not there, then feel free to say so in the comments or the chat below. If I decide to do this, um, you know, um, well, you know what I mean. Uh, yeah, there's Captain Falcon as usual. His helmet is going to be a pain for me to get for multiple reasons. But what we need to do is go into the casino, then go into Casino Royale, just like before. But why are we going back here when that's what I did the first time? Well, um, yeah. I found that trying to collect all the rings in this stage for like a half hour isn't really worth it. Now, it's actually far better to try and collect as many as you can here normally without having to worry about collecting, you know, all of them. You can miss a few, but just try to focus on as many as you can. It's a little tricky with the control sometimes. In case you're not aware, I'm using the Xbox One controller for this. Speed is normally not an issue, as long as there are rings involved. So try and avoid as much speed sections as possible. Just try to focus on getting rings. Generally, one, one run through this stage... Um, will usually net me like maybe a thousand or over a thousand rings per run. And that's usually like maybe like four or five minutes of this. So doing it this way is actually a bit, is actually much faster and you'll get more of a net gain than trying to collect over 5,000 every half an hour. Just try and do the math yourself on that one. It's pretty obvious. I'm demonstrating this just to prove my point. Now, should you collect every ring possible? You could if you want to spend the half hour to do so. If you don't, then just going through normally like so is probably the best way to do it. Again, don't worry too, too much about speed. Just try and focus on getting as many rings as possible. Also enjoy the music while you're at it. I can understand why some people would, like, not want to do this stage, because they say it's too bright. In some ways, I can see the point, but at the same time, just adjust, just adjust your monitor or something. It'll make it that much, it should make it that much easier for you. I mean, that's what I did. I adjusted the, my monitor screen, and now it's no problem at all. I can play this stage without any issue. But, again, I can definitely see why people would, um not want to play this stage. It is understandable. This game is still a prototype, roughly only 5% complete. Yeah, it's got so much to offer and it's only 5% done. Whew. I'm mostly wondering what the, what the remaining 95 is going to be like. I'm sure they'll probably add tails at least. Well, this is pretty much the gist of it. Once I'm done with this run, that'll be the end of the video, really. So I suppose for any of you that are that are still subscribed to me and watch my video my videos normally, I suppose I could give an update. There's really not much to update. There's still no new graphics card, which means I still can't install the the new Pinnacle Studio, which I later found out is no longer the current version. Now that 25 is out, and I have 24. Or at least, my mother bought me 24 for my birthday. Which is like, maybe nine, eight, eight, nine months ago. Yeah. 
Trying to save up for that graphics card or just being lucky that it's in stock has been an issue. Which means I'm still unable to edit any new videos for a while, which means LEGO Star Wars is still on hiatus. And I can still only um, record raw footage, but no editing to be done whatsoever. Sorry to say about all that. But such is life, sadly. Oh well. Well, one last time, like I said, if you want to play this game for yourself, it is free to play. Just um, check the link in the description, and there you go. Okay, I did not expect to get 12,000 right off the bat. Or just 1,200, I mean. Like 1,200 even. That I didn't expect. This was pretty short, so how about I how about I make this um a little bit longer with a little hint? Well not hint, but a little how to. First of all, let's go off to the unlockable characters. I'll go over those really quick and then end this off. Somewhere in the hub world you'll find one character named Amity, apparently from the Poyo Poyo series. You find her, usually around Station Square in some areas. Hello Beat, your music is always way too loud, and I don't like that. Okay, she's not around here. Must be in the train station. So anyway, you find her, and she will have a task for you. Okay, she's not in here. Must be in the casino area. No, I guess not. Well, then she must be in the Mystic Ruins. Somewhere. Well, either way, you find her, and she'll have she'll ask you to find five Poyos. You know, those little blob things. Find them and you're good to go. Allow me to show you the location of each one. Just to make it a little easy for you. Oops. <laughs> I just realized that I disabled the bows because they were pretty loud. Let me just fix that really quick. Alright. Next time I return to the hub. That's good. Alright, now let me see if I can remember. Well, there is one that's a little tricky to get. That's in Speed Highway. Let's run through there really quick, and I'll show you where to find the first one. But funnily enough, this Puyo that's coming up, it's the yellow one. There's actually two of them to be found. One of them, one of them is here in Speed Highway, in the final section. But the last one, surprisingly, is actually in the casino. Or rather, not last one, the second one, I mean. Although it's a little tricky-er to get. Depends on how good you are with your speed run, uh, sp spin dash jumps, I mean. I apologize for that. It's been a long time since so I did any kind of vocal talking whatsoever, so as you can imagine, I am a touch rusty. And I apologize if this looks a little bit janky. Again, my, my screen recorder for my PC here can only record up to 30 frames and not 60. So I deeply apologize for that. Now you hear that boink, boink, boink sound. That means there's a Poyo nearby. But don't let the sound deceive you right here. It's not in this first area of the stage. Nor is it in the second area. You know, running down the building. Yeah, it's not there either. And I forgot to put my phone on silent. My mistake if you heard that. Alright, little shortcut here. Spin dash jump off of that. And out of here. Now it's not in the second section. You don't hear that in those um sounds again, do you? Yeah. That'd be why. Now, hitting these will make you lose your rings, but luckily they don't kill you, which I'm grateful for that. Alright. So, here in the third area, this is where you'll find the Poyo. But how to get it's a little tricky. Here's one way to do it. Okay, that's not the way. My mistake. I really wish I could edit things again, but... And what can you do? I know what I did wrong. Hang on. 
Run to the side of the wall, alley-oop over here, and okay. When you get over here, just ready that spin dash jump I told you about. All right. And there it is. There's your yellow pollo. It says it's already been found because I already have all the characters at the moment. At least in this current version. So, yeah, but for some reason the Poyos always respawn. Uh, excuse me. Mean old thing. That's where the, that's where, that's one spot where the yellow Poyo is. I'll show you real quick where the next one is. We're going back to the casino. Kind of ignoring Beat there. His music is always way too loud. And there's Falcon again. He apparently does not like gambling. Okay. The second yellow pollo is right around here. There's Amigo. Every single NPC around here that has music seems to play it awful loud. I don't think I like that. Whoop. <laughs> yeah, this game isn't perfect by any means, but it's still fun to play. At least in my opinion. Alright, let me just go to spectate mode. Get out of that. Alright. Alright, plus key right there. Free mode. You see it? Wait, you see that shining thing? Um, hang on. Spectate mode, camera's a little bit wonky. Okay. See that shiny thing right below that too? That's the yellow pollo again. So, how do you get there? Um, first I need to remember how I get out of this. Oh, there we go. Set the camera there. Well, I'm not gonna really try hard for this, but... One way I know is to try the, the spin dash jump again. Or spin jump, if you want to call it that. I honestly don't know what the technical term is for that. Honestly, I think this is a little bit harder than doing it in Speed Highway. So, yeah, just go, just try and jump up there and walk towards the Yellow Pollo, and there you go. But if you already have the Yellow Pollo, don't worry about it. Alright, the next one. We're going for the Blue Pollo next. In order to get there, we need these boats active. I definitely suggest doing this alone, like in a private lobby with just yourself. If other people show up, they're probably just going to screw it up, and things are going to get really janky. Alright. So run over here, into Eggman, into this spot. You talk to Eggman a couple of times, and he'll have some tasks for you. Basically, you have to destroy the beetles, the gun beetles, from some of the stages, like Speed Highway, for example. Destroy enough of them, and not only will he give you a couple of cosmetics, but he will also unlock an area for you. The area is this spot. Whereas if you go over here, here's the blue pollo. If I can get a good camera angle. Alright, so far so good, huh? Two down, three to go. I think for these next ones, we gotta go down to state. We gotta go to the Mystic Ruins. Unfortunately, there's only one way back there through the train station. Luckily, it's not that hard to get to. Alley up. Alright, into the train station, all the way up to the train. Out of there. Alright. So, these next two. Two of them are actually in the same general area. We're going to the past. How do we get there? Well, you follow this route. Go past where Ice Cap would normally be. Unfortunately, it's not in the current game. Which is kind of a shame. Run all the way... Up there's Amity. So yeah, you find her, talk to her, and she'll ask you to find the Poyos for her. Once you find them all, you'll unlock this character. And I'll get to that in a bit. So next up. Go into the past. Jump onto the Master Emerald. You're in the past. And I like how they added Sonic Battle music for this. Run all the way over here. And there's the Purple Poyo. Simple as that. Now the next one. 
I think this next one's the green one. We're going all the way to the Echidna Village. Or Tribal Village, whatever you want to call it. I'm surprised I haven't seen it to call yet, but we'll get to that soon enough. Run over to the other side, then hang a right. Over here. Here's the green pollo. That's four. One more to go. Now, speaking of Tikal, she's an unlockable character as well. Although I'm sure you might have seen that before. She's not over here. Where is she? Up oh, there she is. All right. So if you talk to her, just talk to her normally and you'll automatically unlock her. Yeah. Now the next character. We'll get to the last Poyo in a bit, but since we're in this general area, I might as well t talk about this. After you unlock to call, talk to her again and ask her to recite what she was talking about. Basically, she'll recite the whole Servers Are 7 Chaos thing from Sonic Adventure. After all that, you'll actually need other people in another lobby to unlock this one. What do you have to do? Go back to the present time. Luckily, it's not that hard to do, except when the camera does that. Now there, now there are seven pillars here. What you gotta do... I'll jump on this easy one. As I fail it. Your chaos animal seems to be reacting. Seven servers and the controller that unifies chaos. Basically, you and seven other pe- I mean, six other people have to have to stand on these on these seven pillars you do that and then chaos will appear right in this spot you talk to chaos and you unlock him he's got some weird jiggle physics though like all over his body so he's a little bit awkward to see but I'm willing to look past that okay so there's that little chestnut Next up, the final Poyo. We gotta go all the way to Eggman's base. You know where the final egg is in Sonic Adventure? Yeah, we're going in that direction. Sadly, there's no final egg stage, but hey, it's there. Hear that? The red Poyo is easily in plain sight. Right here. That's all five Poyos. Once you find them all, talk to Amity, and you unlock Amity Amy. Yeah, basically there are two Amys in this game. Regular Amy and Amity Amy. Don't ask me. Animations are pretty much the same, it's just different clothes, really. Alright. Now... Let's go over the most RNG-based character. The last last one to be unlocked. Mighty the Armadillo. To unlock Mighty, well, again, I recommend being alone for this. Having others around is just going to make things a little bit difficult. First, we need to go to Dino Jungle. A.K.A. probably the glitchiest stage in the game. Well, so far. I'm sure with a future update that I hear is coming out soon, that I'm just hoping that gets fixed. But until then, luckily we don't have to go too, too far. Just gotta speed through this really quick. Yeah, like I said, luckily we don't have to go too, too deep into this. Ow. Luckily if you die, <laughs> just like that. You generally respawn from where you're supposed to be. Well, kind of. Luckily, respawn points are kind of generous around here. Despite the checkpoints around. Again, doing a spin roll d down a hill makes you go a lot faster. That's definitely helpful. We got this to deal with. Holding the control stick forward, or... Just holding forward on the keyboard or whatever you used for the keyboard controls. We'll make this thing fall a little fat, go a little faster. 
Luckily, hitting the rocks actually doesn't hurt you. Just slows you down. Which, technically, in a race is pretty bad, but, hey, at least you don't die. Alright. Now we're in this section. Avoid these guys. Head down this away. And hold it! Okay. Now, since I already unlocked Mighty, that this won't happen on my screen. But what you gotta do is go this away. Hope you know how to do, do the spin dash jump. Because you're gonna need to do a few of those. Head over to this spot. Head over here. Okay, that's good. That's a good jump. Head about here. Okay. Now carefully move on to the other side. You could fall from here. You see that platform? There's a chance that Mighty will appear there. Again, this is completely RNG, so if he's not there, just exit the stage and try it again. What you need to do is get onto that platform, and he'll be standing right about the middle. You talk to him, and then he'll ask you a question. Make sure you choose the bottom answer. If you choose the top one, you have to do this again. But if you choose the bottom answer, well, then you've done it correctly and we move on to the next step. What's the next step? Well, after that, we're going to leave the stage and move on to the, to the next one. Luckily, you only have to go to two stages for this. Next, we're going to Wave Ocean from Sonic 06. Yeah, there are 06 stages here. And woo, <laughs> yeah, lag is a thing. Yep, head to Wave Ocean, that's where we gotta go next. We gotta run through quite a bit of the stage, though. But luckily, it's a fun stage. So, it's really, I don't think it's that big a deal unless you really hate the stage. Which, if you hated Sonic 06, I don't blame you, but... Now, Still... I'll just run through this as quick as I can. Um, note, I am not the best in this game. I have made mistakes in the past. And there are plenty other gamers that play this game that are far better than me. Sometimes I wish I could beat them, but hey. Sometimes you gotta go with what you got. Okay, I missed that shortcut, but that's okay. There's more than one way to, you know, bust a bot. Now, luckily, it actually doesn't matter what character you play in this game. They all play it the exact same way, so... It's really just personal preference. What I was doing there on the rails... Um, again, I'm using the Xbox controller for this one, so... That's what I'm referencing to for this. I don't know what, how it's going to work with the other controller, so just try and bear with me. Um, doing that, that whole left and right thing I was doing earlier... I just, I just spam the X button on that. Yeah, this thing. Then when I'm going down, I press and hold B. That actually makes you go through the rail a lot faster. And watch out for these spike balls as I fail at that and go right through the wall. But luckily, that's okay. We're getting close. We are getting close. Luckily, this is a lot easier when you're alone. If you got friends with you, you'll have to... You or one of your friends will have to be in second place and have some chaos energy. On the lower left, you see there's like a first and then max. That's basically your chaos energy. It goes to like level one, level two, and then max. Now again, this is with my Xbox controller. Pressing the, pressing the R button will do something if my character is glowing like this. But I'm not too worried about that at the moment because now is not the time. Now at this spot, let her rip! That destroys that second lighthouse and we can move on. Well, not that we couldn't move on before, but this allows us to access the speed section of, of the stage. If you remember that from Sonic 06, yeah, we're going there. You actually have to go to the speed section in order to get Mighty the second time. 
But again, remember, this is RNG, so he may or may not appear. Okay. All right, got it. At that ramp, if you press jump at the right time, you'll do a trick. And that makes getting to this spot a lot easier. Now, if you're lucky, you'll find Mighty around this area somewhere. I don't remember the exact spot, but he's around here. Again, you talk to him and ask him, and he'll ask you a question. Like before, choose the bottom spot. You do that, then you'll unlock him as, an, as a playable character. Well, either way, I think you get the general idea. So, whilst I'm here for the heck of it, let's just finish the stage and call it a day. I mean, hey, I love the speed sections. Even though I didn't play 06 that much, but just the speed section in this game, oh yeah, it's fun. I mean, it's just fun to run fast in general. Too bad we can't run this fast in real life. But then again, how, ma how many areas are this wide open in real life? I mean, seriously. Um, whoops. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what's with Cream's death scream there, but... Oh, well. Gotta go with it, I guess. My guess is they probably got it from Sonic Heroes. The voice clips, that is. Because it definitely sounds like that. Yeah, definitely does. Well, there you go. My unexpectedly longer video on how to how to grind rings not, and also unlock all the unlockable characters. At least that we have so far. There may, they may add more later on, but who knows? I suppose I can exit the game and show them to you. Just a... Just so that you're all aware that I ain't lying. Alright. So there's Amity Amy, like I said. Again, exact same model as regular Amy here. Just, again, with Amity's clothes. Scroll around here a bit. There's Mighty. Yeah, it's surprising that Mighty has a 3D model here. Probably fan-made, but sure, looks pretty dang, pretty dang good. All right, there's Tikal in all her glory. And Chaos with Jiggle Physics. Yeah, I told you it was jiggly. Jiggly, 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 puff. Yeah. Well, that's all, folks. Till next time, everybody. I'm gone.